Global milk production continues to grow and the demand for dairy products also is increasing, particularly so for the economies of the developing world. Milk provides a daily income for many farmers. In developing countries like Zambia, the majority of milk comes from small and medium scale farmers. With so many constraints, these farmers face difficulties to make ends meet for their families. SNV, the Netherlands Development Organization, in conjunction with the Dairy Association of Zambia, DAS, is working to improve the dairy sector in Zambia. Dr. Sue Ellis, who is the country director for SNV in Zambia, explains the link between dairy and poverty reduction for the poor. For SNV, our primary modus operandi is looking at poverty reduction. Uh, our programs tend to target base of the pyramid populations, um, but do so in a market-based solutions way. So what we tend to do is try and link uh, the poor with private sector, processors, distributors, traders, to enable poor to enter into the value chain. Now, in some of our areas where we work, uh, that can still prove difficult because, for example, if you look at the maize sector in Zambia, there's one production season, there's one rainy season. So there's a lot of the time where the farmer isn't actually getting any regular income. So to enable a farmer to get more income, we start to look at different types of productivity. And if you look at dairy, there is potential for a farmer to actually get income every month of the 12 months of the year. But in terms of giving poor farmers a revenue base that's monthly and can be relied upon, it's a very good tool for helping them in, in poverty reduction. SNV has three primary areas in which it works, which are smart farmers, safe milk, and green cows. Uh, SNV has three primary areas in which we work, and we've given those tags. Uh, we talk about smart farmers, we talk about safe milk, and we talk about green cows. Um, for us, smart farmers are farmers who have a good knowledge of the technical skills required to produce the milk that they need. Um, and what we tend to do in countries is try and again involve private sector in provision of that technical uh, skills development for farmers because in that way it can be more sustainable. 80% of all raw milk produced in Zambia comes from smallholder farmers owning mostly local breeds and is worth $80 million. However, only 20 to 30% of this milk reaches the formal market. To improve the competitiveness of this type of farming, the milk supply has to be improved. Dairy farming has got the potential of helping the majority of people in Zambia because you can get a regular income out of it. However, we know that the amount of milk we have in Zambia is not sufficient to meet the demand for milk, which is why Zambia still has to import some milk from outside. The good part of it is that there is a lot of potential for all the small farmers to bulk their milk and sell. It's a, it's a bad thing because sometimes when you import milk from other countries, it means that it's advantaging your own farmers here. So think about this briefly. All the milk that you find in the shop, that the milk that goes to Pamela, and all the former players in the chain, 80% of it is supplied by the big farmers. And only 20% comes from the small farmers like you. As you can see, the Zambia dairy sector has got a lot of potential, which is not being exploited. Mr. Bran Kapoto, who is the SNV dairy project manager, explains what SNV, in partnership with the Dairy Association of Zambia, are doing to improve the dairy industry. As SMV in Zambia, we believe that smallholder dairy farming has got the potential to improve the livelihoods of people in Zambia. Why do we believe so? Because the majority of the milk that we produce as a country comes from smallholder farmers. In fact, about 70 to 80 percent of it is produced by farmers, by smallholder farmers. Only 20 to 30 percent comes from commercial farmers. The challenge, however, is that the commercial farmers supply about 80% of the milk that goes into the formal market. And smallholder farmers only account for 20%, despite the fact that they produce the bulk of the milk that we have in the, in the country. So if you look at the dynamics that I've mentioned there, if we empower farmers to produce as much milk as they can, and ensure that they become part of the formal market, then they can be supported to improve their income and create employment at local level. The other point that SNV, uh, through our project, believes that is really important and crucial for increasing milk production and productivity among, among smallholder farmers is improving the dairy skills among them. 
because we talked about the challenge of farmers having low levels of dairy skills in terms of uh, how they manage the animals and how they, uh, uh, they milk the animals and how they feed them. So SMV believes that if farmers are trained and they are empowered to not only know the skills about dairy, but for them to access training services right within their farms. Uh, SMB is promoting concepts like the Practical Dairy Training Center at Monze Cooperative. And this is where we have two model farms where uh, they demonstrate best practice in terms of dairy farming. And farmers along that particular locality can go and learn about different components of dairy farming. It could be in feed formulation, it could be in artificial insemination, it could be in breeding, it could be in calf rearing. So the different topics that we talk about are easily now accessible within the reach of the farm. The other challenge we're trying to address is uh, the lack of a proper commercial orientation in terms of dairy enterprise management. A lot of people look at dairy as a way of life, but not as a business. And so within our program as SNV, we're trying to ensure that farmers get the right attitude in terms of how to manage their milk enterprise. They manage it using business principles. The third component that SMB is trying to address within the Dairy Business Services Development Project is the issue of dairy services along the value chain for smallholder farmers. Because now, if farmers want to engage in effective dairy farming, they don't, they don't have access to inputs, to veterinary services, and other services that they may need right at the farm. And so that increases their cost of production because they have to travel to, to towns nearby to where they are for them to go and access the services that they need. But in this particular intervention, we know that over the past five years, their capacity to buy or to demand for services has been increasing because their milk production has been going up, meaning that income is improving at farm level. And so if their income is increasing at farm level, it means that their ability to demand for a service, it could be artificial insemination, it could be feed, it could be fodder, is improving. The challenge that we have is that the companies that can provide services such as AI, such as feed and fodder, are not aware about the increasing potential of the farmers where they are in the different locations. So what we're simply trying to do as SMV is to help bridge that information gap between the farmers and the companies that may supply services that, services that farmers need. And what we're simply doing is that we broker business relationships between cooperatives and other companies to ensure that they mutually understand what each of the two players are doing and that deals can be made in terms of how farmers can access services right at the farm where they are. And SNV can help demonstrate that potential by facilitating these brokerage meetings that farmers can be part of, for farmers to showcase their potential to other input suppliers, and input suppliers can get a deeper insight into what the farmers are capable of doing. We believe that if that information gap is bridged, then deals can be made between farmers and cooperatives, and that can help lower the cost of production. So SLV has come in, I think the strategies that they're using, they are handy in the sense that they are able to assist our farmers uh, have a well-developed market arrangement. What we are doing with them is to sort of uh, create or change the milk collection center from just uh, being areas where they can supply the milk. But uh, we are turning them into a hub of a lot of activities. Zambia generally in the Zambia sector, the dairy sector is growing very fast. About 20% every year. Um, currently, uh, the milk production is about 400 million liters. However, despite all that production, you still find we have a deficit of about 3 million liters in a year. Now, uh, that basically means that uh, we have to import milk and then form of powder, which is then reconstituted uh, by the local processing uh, companies. So there's lots of opportunity, I think, for the sector to grow. I think it's a sector to watch. Uh, it's a sector that can be able to address issues of income uh, and employment among the Zambians. And we speak to some farmers and service providers on the ground to tell us more about the challenges they face and also tell us about the opportunities the dairy sector brings to better the lives of farmers. Farmers generally in Zambia, small scale farmers, they are more knowledgeable in maize production or in crop production. Why? Because I think extension package is biased towards a crop. But if uh, extension package would also you know, look at animal husband daily production, 
I'm sure it will increase the knowledge on the farmer on how to to learn the business of day. The only problem is at the moment most of the farmers they only know how to produce maize. You know, business you need to have knowledge. You need to have knowledge of how much capital, how much profit when I do this, when I when I when, when I put in so much, how much am I going to realize? So farmers has to be taught that business. If they are taught, I'm sure farmers will know and they will realize that uh, daily is business and then they will know how to go about it. Uh, we had a training program uh, sponsored by SNV. The training was attended, well attended by all members of the cooperative society and uh, it was a very, very useful program. Uh, almost everybody, all the members that attended the program uh, were very enthusiastic. They benefited a lot and uh, it made a very big difference to their uh, way of looking at uh, the cooperative society and its business. Uh, with our company, we look at uh, the, the small scale farmers. And normally it's hard to meet the small scale farmers because they are from different places okay? and the distances to the places like the, the milk collection centers is quite far. So to bring the farmers together really is hard. But I think you did a very good job because uh, we had an opportunity to meet a lot of farmers at one point. So to have an opportunity to be able to showcase the products to a wide range and uh, a wide range of farmers, that is peasant and small scale farmers, and with that huge number, it's really a plus for us. Yeah. But from the way farmers are appreciating the same events, uh, because that uh, uh, a privilege to see the companies come and also the companies themselves of the, they were able to see how willing the farmers, the small order farmers are wanting the services and uh, actually most of the cooperatives have actually get, gotten contacts for these uh, companies so that they can get linked and so that those, pro uh, uh, those uh, services could be brought closer to them. SNV believes that well-structured market relationships between dairy cooperatives and private input suppliers can benefit both the farmers and the input suppliers, which can lead to increased income of smallholder farmers, thereby raising their quality of life. At the business brokerage meetings, input suppliers met with hundreds of smallholder farmers and identified the growing demands of the rapidly growing dairy industry in Zambia.